A record number of women and minorities won in closely watched races across the country. Did want celebrations across the U.S. For the first time, more than 100 female House members were sworn in today. We also have more women serving in Congress than at any time before. God, it was such a secret for such a long time that a woman could make a decision. When I was first running, um, often women would say, ooh, she's nice and she's smart enough, but I don't know whether she's tough enough. When you go out into the public sphere, you become an object that people can discuss as if you were something on that table. How does she stand? How does she dress? How does she hold her hand? How are you caring for your children? Uh, what does your husband do? What does your husband think about this? Do you have a husband? People need to ask the same questions and demand the same level of accountability from men as they do from women. Um, or maybe guys could be pregnant for nine months um, and see how that goes. Swift's baby is due just before the November election, and she says she plans to return to work full-time if elected. That is drawing criticism from some conservative groups who say Swift should stay home or work part-time when the baby is born. My advice to women who are running now would be to be yourself. You have to be yourself. It's not worth it if you're not. Investigate, make certain it's something you think you'd like to do, and then go for it. Failing initially in politics is okay, that you actually need to uh, learn some lessons, get comfortable before you succeed. You have to be prepared to get up the day after you've lost and won again. Separate always means separate and unequal. I. I, Evelyn F. Murphy, to solemnly swear, to solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We value opportunity, so we will do what it takes to create good jobs and prosperity for all. My three top priorities are to make Massachusetts more affordable, to make our schools among the best in the world, and I want our streets to be safe and our schools to be safe. My hope is that someday women are so prevalent in public office, that there are no more barriers to be broken. That it becomes so much the norm that nobody finds it interesting or different enough to even focus on it. It's about wanting to see change. It's about wanting to be a part of making that change. If you succeed and if you're in a position to actually change policy and make laws, it's so gratifying. You can change people's lives for the better.